later this autumn. And currently, he is starring in and is here to talk about writer-director Daniel Cocotayo's debut indie feature, Apostasy. Welcome, Robert. Lovely Hi. to have you. What a great introduction. Well, <laughs> I'm just reading what they say on the page, but yeah, I like, yeah, yeah. I like to it give. Great. It's it's you nice to give people agent. some some. <laughs> <laughs> to give people some some context, so yes. they so they can yeah. place the face with the with the voice yeah. and name. Tell me about about the film Apostasy. Yeah, so Apostasy is out in the cinemas now, and it uh, is uh, an independent film, um, and it's about it, it follows uh, a family of three Jehovah's Witnesses, three women, a mother and her two daughters. Um, and it sort of charts a year in their life when one of the daughters um, drifts away from the group and sort of finds other beliefs that aren't kind of within the, the Jehovah's Witness yeah. uh, religion. And it's about how that affects um, their relationship and uh, the pressures that the, the three women feel. Um, and I play a character called Stephen who is... Uh, very devout Jehovah's Witnesses who recently moved to the area and he gets to know the youngest daughter and uh, sort of courts her in kind of a sort of old fashioned mm. way really and uh, and they they get together in a sort of arranged situation mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and he, he kind of yeah becomes part of the family really the thing that I really enjoyed about the film which I saw today was it was that it felt almost like a play it 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 has a, has a small cast it's not this big vast massive story it's quite it's quite a small story even though it's about kind of everything yeah. all at once isn't it yeah i think that's a really good observation it is it is um they are feeling epic emotions in sort of big moments in their life and huge things are happening but yeah it feels very intimate and um and i think the clever thing about it is that it doesn't ever sort of boil over mm -hmm. um you know, the characters aren't sort of screaming and shouting at each other. Yeah. Um, it feels very real um, in that sense. I think I think Dan's done that really well, you know. Very much so. And the acting <coughs> is absolutely superb. You included Siobhan Finneran, who many people would know from her role as O'Brien, the very hated O'Brien on uh, <laughs> Downton Abbey, is just marvelous yeah. in this yeah, she, she is, is she is fantastic yeah. i wonder if we'll ever see her happy on screen <laughs> <laughs> or she, she's really happy in life she's brilliant to work with I mean, she's she's such good fun we we laughed a lot doing that in fact we actually got told off once laughing too much on set um uh, but no she's 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 great i mean in the the two the two girls sasha and, and molly are are also brilliant and I think it was it was very well cast um, from from the team behind it behind the film, and um, you know the dynamic between all of us was was just kind of it was there, and we had we had about two weeks or a week's rehearsal actually, which oh, wow. was kind of unusual, where we got to really know each other, and uh, so it was, no, it was really really good, really great experience. Wow, and um, Daniel Cocatayo was a Jehovah's Witness himself. Yes, and and uh, so. How did he prepare you for the role? How did you get into get into playing an yeah. elder? Yeah, this was kind of like why the film was so special, really, because when I got the script, you know, um, when they said that, you know, he, he was an ex-Jehovah's Witness, you know, um, I, I initially kind of thought, oh, well, this, this could be really naff, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I, or is this, I hope this isn't some kind of promotional film for the church, but then obviously I realised it's, it's not, it's very much a legitimate Thing. And, and uh, Dan went to film school, and he's he had some really great proper funding behind it. It was backed by the BBC film, by BBC Films and BFI, um, and part of I Features this this scheme. And um, and so so Dan's experience that he brought to it was just invaluable as an actor um, playing that role. And I did do some research into it, but I did you know I also had him there to mm -hmm. talk to all the time, and he was very very uh, he was very good at giving you know very very specific direction on how an elder of my level would speak stand sit kind of gesticulate kind of really really sort of specific things which often you know sometimes as an actor you kind of might not want that much mm -hmm. but actually in this it really worked because almost because my character is so indoctrinated into the 
into the religion that it was almost it is almost like he wears this kind of suit he doesn't i do wear a suit but <laughs> it's yeah. like he wears this persona really really convincingly and uh, and genuinely as well so, yeah so yeah dan dan was really great his experience was invaluable amazing and have you had any had or heard any feedback from jehovah's witnesses yes yeah, yeah. well ex jehovah's witnesses yeah. uh, have come flocking to see it in in many many cities in the country mm -hmm. and uh and i know it's going to be showing in america as well and i think that's going to be a big thing there too so a lot of extra host witnesses have come and seen the film been, been incredibly moved by it and uh, on twitter i've had you know people saying that you know um the whole thing was incredibly convincing and really moving and they're so pleased that this story is being told so i think it's been told as well in a really clever way because i don't think dan is being critical he's not he's not it's you know he's very it doesn't feel like he's taking a side he's really told the story very simply i mean the characters the elders um especially my character as well he, he's a really genuine guy and he really believes what he's saying in with a lot of genuity so as much as it's it creates a very impressive a, a, oppressive environment mm. around these women in this moment when that's probably the least thing they need yeah um it, it's that dan's kind of shone a light on it in a very kind of honest way i think and it's it's not kind of demonizing in any way it's just telling it in a very simple way the story excellent okay well we are going to go to a song now it's uh, happening all over again from lonnie gordon and after that i'll be back with more chat with robert ems and apostasy <laughs> 